Aged care is an enormous issue because, you know, they're very vulnerable population that they need the care, of course, that's why it's set up that way. The carers want to give the care, but the risk is if you're coming from a community where there's community transmission, then the carers are at risk of bringing virus into those nursing homes every time they visit. So they've got to don and, and don off PPE, personal protective equipment, all the time. This is not what they're used to doing. So you can understand how it easily leaked in from the Victorian community into those nursing homes, multiple nursing homes. People have talked about the Swedish model, which is protect the elderly, try to keep people sensibly distanced, but allow them basically to live pretty normally unless they're at risk. In other words, particularly the elderly, but also people who are immune suppressed or have chronic disease. The problem is the data don't say they did very well. First of all, it got into nursing homes, into the elderly populations at high, high risk. And their high death rates were be partly because of that issue. With our percolating continued cases, we are at risk of this also occurring here. And it's hard to get out once it's in the nursing home. It, it can be dealt with. There's, there is some experience that, that you can bring it under control, but you will lose some elderly people, even with the best you know, intentions. So I think it's a real problem. It's another terribly good reason to aim for elimination. That solves the issue.